Watertight compartments all the way to the front. Now, but five watertight compartments was too many. Its limit was four watertight compartments. As water spilled over the bulkheads from compartment to compartment, more and more water flooded into the ship, eventually bringing it down and sinking. But eventually, the weight of the part of the Titanic that was out of the water got so heavy that. Eventually, the crack gets big enough to tear the thing in two. Then the two halves of the Titanic go off on their separate ways. One of them, the front half, goes almost straight down to the bottom of the ocean floor and gets there after a few minutes. But the other half of the Titanic stays bobbing for those few minutes and then goes down, gets ripped up on the way to the ocean floor. Okay, yeah, we get it. But if I were to ask you what actually sank the Titanic, you would say, oh, but, but, but that's obvious. You told us yourself that an iceberg sank. What kind of question is that? But yeah, but we all know that the iceberg sank the Titanic. What a silly question. The iceberg sank the Titanic. Or did it?
any coincidence, luck of the die, the Titanic just happened to be right behind that iceberg, and boom, there we go. But what put the iceberg there in the first place? So in the year 1912, the moon's orbit was taking it unusually close to the Earth. It only takes it this close once in 10 million years. around with the terrain on Greenland, the subcontinent just east of Canada. The gravity was strong enough to release an iceberg off of the glacial coasts of Greenland, sending it in its path in the Atlantic Ocean. And then, biggest coincidence ever that that iceberg ended up directly in front of the Titanic. I mean, like, what a coincidence. What are the chances of that? Of all the things to blame for the Titanic's destruction, the moon just got added to the list. That's all for today from this episode. Thank you for joining us today in the very start of a new space show video series. Join us again on July 20th, 2012 for our next episode. The topic next week is going to be a surprise. Okay, we'll see you then. Goodbye.